Here I have a simple platform, nothing fancy, just Sprite and Collider 2D. There's an extremely easy way to turn it into one-way platform. We need to add to it the component Platform Effector 2D. And on the Collider check the Used by Effector checkbox. This greenish arc that appeared indicates from which direction the collision will be treated as normal. You can change it using the Surface Arc property. And that's really it. Everything should be working as expected. Now let's allow the character to fall through the platform. This will require a little bit of code. I'm creating new script and adding it to the platform. I create two private variables. First one to store the reference to the collider. Second one to store the information if the character is standing on the platform or not. In the start method I grab and assign the collider. Then I create a simple method that will be used inside on collision enter 2D and on collision exit 2D. It has two parameters, information about the collision and value that should be assigned to the player on platform variable. In the first line from the object that collided with the platform, I try to get player character specific script. That will allow me to check in the second line if the object that collided with the platform is actually the player character. If it is, that means the script is not null, I set the value of player on platform variable. Then I call the method from both on collision enter 2D and collision exit 2D. In the update method I check if the player is on platform and if I have negative vertical input. If so, I disable the collider and then start a new coroutine which will be responsible for re-enabling it. Now I create the coroutine. I call it enable collider and make sure it returns the I enumerator. Inside of it I wait for half a second and then re-enable the collider. And that's all the code we need. Let's test it out. Fantastic! I hope you found it useful, have a fantastic day, love you and bye bye!